Rest in peace, Coco. On the bright side, a Nintendo game released today. Maybe that will cheer me up. Right? Right. For God's sake! Hey guys, welcome to a freaking Blue Bro Epic. First one in a while. And whoa! What? What? Brandon was actually able to record the footage for this episode? This is unheard of! This is unheard of! I have never recorded the footage on my own! <laughs> but unlike Lava VR and a ton of other things where I don't have the equipment, I have a Switch capture card! But, in all light, this game released at one of the worst possible times. I think it could have released at. Referring to kids of Hyrule. Um, as you probably saw in an intro joke, my beloved hamster Coco has passed away. And I'm not bringing this up to be upset or anything, but Cadence of Hyrule released the same day they died. He died. And I know I played that off as a joke, but that's because it's the. I just thought that that was very ironic, to say the least. And we're all gonna miss Coco. But we're gonna go over both games. And yeah, sorry about that weird cut. Just still emotional over my hamster dying. Crypt of the Necrodancer is a roguelike where you must move to the beat of the music. So. There's normally a heart on screen, but I'm playing as the character, the Bard. Who is my favorite character in the game to play as? You can control the tempo by hitting platforms that change the tempo speed to make it faster or slower. Which both affects gameplay and the actual music. <laughs> Each enemy has a set move pa pattern with an abundance of of weapons. This game automatically saves after each mission and you can buy new items to find in the crypt after each level as well as rescue NPCs. The game is a very basic and fun game. I'm not the best at rhythm games. I may love DDR but I suck at it. But Pretty much all the essential gameplay has been carried over to Cadence. So everything you love about Crypt is likely in Cadence as well. But like, as you can see, you normally have a heart at the, on the bottom of your screen. In Crypt of the Necrodancer, you play as Cadence and other characters you can save along your missions. Cadence wheels the same stuff as everyone else in her game. Let's jump over to the other one. This is Cadence of Hyrule, where you can play as Cadence, Zelda, or Link, each representing one of the Triforce pieces. For everyone who plays Zelda, you know Link and Zelda's positions. Link has a shield. I don't actually know what Cadence has. Didn't really play as her. And Zelda has Nehru's love. Just like in the previous game, you collect gems 
to upgrade your supplies and follow to the beat of a music. But this one is not a roguelite, but you can input seeds. The seed I'm using is F, capital F, A, E, capital R, W, W, and then just lowercase W's until it hits 10. It's Feyroar. But this is a phenomenal game. It combines everything you love about Zelda and puts a new twist on it. And this game, you can technically play forever. Although, I don't like the new confusion <laughs> platforms. As you can see. But this game is filled with death. It's very weird going from the other two Zelda games coming to the Switch. Slash on the Switch. Because Link's Awakening is going to play like the original and... Just a wild exists. And both of these games, especially with the Bard, employ some phenomenal movement options and strategizing. You can collect heart pieces in the overworld and solve puzzles. I think this game is amazingly fun. From what I've played of it. Some of the puzzles that I have solved include playing the opening beat of a song from Ocarina of Time to wake up a Gerudo. As well as pushing rocks so you can get on new areas. And much more. You can pretty much move almost everything everything you can find in the overworld and experiment it with it in one way or another. And just like in previous Zelda games, the enemies follow how they are. The game is fun, yet extremely difficult. If you enjoy Zelda or Crypt of the Necrodancer, it's definitely worth giving it a shot. But seriously, you die a lot. But it would be awesome if we got a Cadence Amiibo. Or a Cadence Spirit. But this is a phenomenally fun game that you can play for literally ever. It's a roguelike. Both of these games are great. I picked up Crypt because it was like $4 and Cadence... It's a freaking Zelda game. I'm buying it. The art is absolutely stunning and there are enough differences from what I've played with Link, Zelda, and Cadence mostly Link and Zelda that make them super unique and playing co-op like for me yes that was mostly screaming at my partner It may have been a mess, but it was a fun mess. <laughs> but, yeah. If I wasn't for this game releasing at this time, there would definitely be something dedicated to my hamster. Um, and just so you know, we're not really gonna get another big video, cause my birthday's coming up, which means I don't normally work on videos. Conveniently, Mario Maker's coming out the week after my birthday. So we're good. Just that week, I refuse to work. That was actually kind of fun! This video was dedicated to Coco. Two, one, action. Do, do. <laughs>
Take two. two. One, go. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Don't try to sit home!